Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Chiefs. All that and more coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost the Super Bowl in there too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years in today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they were one of the heavy favorites to win the NFC, and they were able to get it done, and now they look for that elusive sixth Super Bowl title. Remember, after going 5-0 in their first five appearances here, they've lost two straight. Super Bowl 47 to the Ravens in New Orleans and Super Bowl 54 to Kansas City in Miami. They'd love to start another streak like they had in the 80s when they won four Super Bowl titles. The 2023 season has one game left. Here we go. Super Bowl 58 underway from Vegas. Here's Richie James on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. They fake the give, now Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, if those at home were wondering if we were going to see some offense in this Super Bowl, I think your answer was right there. Incomplete, but they take a big shot early. Like the script, if they get the big play early, so much the better. But if nothing else, they send a message. They're going to be aggressive in this game. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Everyone rolls into the Super Bowl saying, hey, I'm confident. I'll just do what I did before. But let's face it, you got to be wary of the jitters going into a big game like this. Super Bowl is unlike any other game you're going to play. And now he's starting out 0 for 2. We'll see if he can rebound. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Take it at the 37. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46.
From the 46, here's the second down and four. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Michael Dana. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run stuff in variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. So just a three-yard return following a cut of 45. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Tackle made by Chase Young. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Now second and nine. Mahomes on the give to Edward Jalair. And he'll get this past the 20 as he gets about four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Throwing now is Mahomes. Pressure comes and down he goes. But Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's called the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Here's Tommy Townsend now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up, let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Second down and eight. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. 
Here is third down and four. Now Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Shifts by him. A second fake. And yeah, he's going to be out down inside the 20 of the 15. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and broad. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And he'll be out of bounds. 15 yards there for number 15. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. The chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown 49ers. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. That time a six-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Here's James. Now James returning. And able to get this out to the 25. And out come the Chiefs now. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. A throw right side taken in by the tight end, Bray. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Shedding through the defense. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. Third and two. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-0 is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon Gunn, Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now a second and ten. 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now Mahomes. And this is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It's a gain of 34. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that was so close. That close to the first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. On play action, it's Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Edwards Alaire is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards Alaire. kick it away taken at the goal line and he takes this near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 the San Francisco's offense returns to the field so both of these teams Charles coming off touchdowns now but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Purdy with it on third and long. He's got a man complete. A big third down play there for the Niners. And a very appropriate gain as well, 49 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Holding offense. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. Purdy. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go. They're still looking at a second down here. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? Middle of the field, diving to grab it? No, he didn't. Purdy now on second down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he's brought down at the 16. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Second and seven. Purdy looking to throw. That's complete to McCaffrey. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of it. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. 
It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Whoever the dime looked on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now Mahomes. Oh, the out route, he finds Hardman. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Well, Mahomes finding his burner Hardman for the KC first. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. On first down, Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. Now he's loose. Got the left sideline. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Rasheed Rice, 65 yards. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Scoring summary. Three play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And bulldozing his way through. And all in all, pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. This a second and seven from the 37. Back to throw, Purdy. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First down, Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught. 11 on the field. 
the sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Purdy. Throw out wide is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, we saw some strong play from Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter and they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. And they'll begin by running the option. Before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. A good pick up there, a 22. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And now look at this, big gain by Fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
We just saw the dilemma for every coach. You want him to fight for the extra yardage, but somehow continue to cover the football. Oftentimes when you fight that hard, the ball becomes exposed. Defensively, it's obvious they're trying to be more aggressive. First tackle a little too aggressive. Second one, though, they strip it loose. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And throwing here, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> They've gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. This is McCaffrey on the give. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before. That is caught by the tight end, Kennel. Touchdown, 49ers. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the 49ers have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Now Moody for the PAT. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. Mahomes finding his tight end, Kelsey, for a big one. 44 yards. So when's the best time to take the big shots downfield? When you think a defense least expects it, and I think the first play of the third quarter qualifies. They came right out firing. That's how you send a message to start the second half of a game. Mahomes now on first down. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're in 
inside the 25. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. This is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Brock Purdy and the 49ers out for their next possession. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. A second down throw for Purdy. A quick throw there is incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Shotgun now with Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signal for it and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Casey's offense ready to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. 
On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Across the formation, Hardman gets a completion. And they rally quickly defensively after the ground, but he gets it to the 42. 25 yards there on the catch and run. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantlin. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now it's Mahomes again. And it's caught. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Pacheco will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So a big one coming now for Harrison Butker. This will get the lead up to seven. Butker's kick here is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Niners set to take over on offense. And it's quickly becoming now or never time in the Super Bowl, trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Connects with Kittle underneath. This will be a gain of about 8 to the 27-yard line. A brief pause in the action here as they tend to an injury. That's George Kittle shaken up on that last play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this.
Now a second and two. Here's McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. This offense so far on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. They'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey. But he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. On play action, they'll throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. He stiff arms it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 49 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Diamador Lenore up to make the tackle. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college. Carrying it around campus, right? Maybe old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's walking by sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. And he is going to be stopped up at the line of scrimmage. And we'll have a stoppage as well as we have reached the two-minute warning. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. So fresh out of the two minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Again, it's Pacheco. 
And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. A handoff now for Pacheco. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now the Holmes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. one final knee to put a ball on this title bow. That is likely the final play of this game and no better feeling I would imagine than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this. Practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing, the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them, a fantastic season.